Hi, this is a video accompanying the Joomla tutorial series developing an MVC component and it's the second video associated with this step adding an image. So in this step I'm proposing to go through some of the controller code <clears throat> and look at some of the extensions that you might want to consider playing around with. So if we go um, to media and upload. Here is the sort of thing that um, we're wanting to do really within our component. So if we want an idea of how to write the controller for that, um, what we do is we go to Joomla, see where there is something equivalent and then see where uh, that file is. So if I put on F12 and click on browse and just um, take up any file and start upload. Here's the post here. And the params. So we can see it's com media and the task is file.upload and we're in the admin functionality here. So what we should be looking for is a file which is in the administrator in our media component, in our controllers, and it'll be called file.php, which is the controller. It's file.upload. And when we click on that, the function we will want will be upload. So if we were writing this from scratch, this would probably be our starting point. Look and see what does this um, code here do and then try to understand that and then apply it to really our own situation. So if we go back to the tutorial code and go down to the controller. Last time we got kind of as far as here, we'd looked at the dollar files PHP variable and its structure described here. We'd looked at the case where error equals four indicated there was no file. And now we want to go on from here and see what do we do if there is a valid file which is present. So if we go through some of these steps here, first thing we see is this here, J file makes safe. And um, jfile refers to a file system package, which is part of Joomla, which really allows you to um, execute the normal sorts of operations you want to do with files, get extension, strip extension, make safe, copy, delete, upload, and all those sorts of things. And of course, you have the, the API uh, on it as well. The other thing here is make safe because um, when we've looked at taking stuff in from the internet, strings and all that sort of stuff, um, we've had to make sure that we rip out HTML tags, anything that could give us SQL injections, anything nasty like that. So the same sort of security considerations and more actually apply in the case when we're uploading a file. Here we're looking particularly at making sure that the file name is clean. But if you go on to Google and put in some sort of a query like that, file upload security issues, you'll see a number of different sites that describe um, the sorts of problems uh, that you can get with unrestricted uploads and really how to protect your site from hackers trying to get in by the way of um, you know, uploading files from the very basic of kind of renaming a PHP file as a .jpg file uh, to more sophisticated um, attempts at hacking. So that's that. Um, I'm just doing a string replace of spaces for Windows files. The next thing we're doing here is we're checking against the media configuration parameters and that's what this 
media helper cannot load here is doing. Now I um, put this here somewhere. Where did it go? Here we are. J Media Helper. So when I was looking at this, I did notice that it was in two different places because I've got Joomla 3.7 on one instance and Joomla 3.8 on another instance. So you do find that Joomla changes where files are from time to time. And uh, of course, on on Linux, you've got grep, which you can use to find files and uh, based on strings. And um, I quite like the facility within that, um, what do you call it, Word, what's this, uh, Notepad++, where you can do search and find in files, and then you get the search results down the bottom, it will search through files for strings. So this is our media helper file, and this is the file can upload, and really what it's doing is, as I said, it's um, cancel that. And go to options here. What it's doing is it's applying these checks here against the uploaded file. So you can have a look at those and read the descriptions and uh, try to understand that. So once we get past that stage, um, here we're looking at preparing the file names for where we're going to put the file. Um, we're checking if there is a file already there with the same name, which again is one of our J file um, examples. May well be able to find it somewhere there. And the next thing we'll do is we're doing J file upload. And J file upload, it's a bit of a misnomer because the file is already uploaded and it's sitting in a temp file um, on the server. So really what it's doing is it's, it's kind of just moving it. But upload actually does a whole lot more than just move the file. If you look at the source code, and the source code is here. And I've just brought it into, um, here's upload. And one of the first things it does is calls this jfilter input is save file. And if you look around for jfilter input, again, that's one of the files that has moved between 3.7 and 3.8. But if you can find it, um, you'll see it's going through and doing a lot of tests on the file. So it's checking extensions, contents, scanning the contents. So really this uh, functionality is trying to make sure to the best of its ability that the file that is being uploaded here onto the Joomla instance is safe. It, um, it's not going to be used as a mechanism for uh, successfully hacking the site. So that's basically it. Once we get that done, our file is in the right place and we can set up the, the data um, that we want to log in the database for that. <clears throat> so that covers the kind of walkthrough of the controller code. The other thing I want to do was uh, suggest some things you might like to try if you're wanting uh, to explore this area in a bit more detail. I've put down a few things there. You can upload video or audio files, and I've suggested you can put them into different folders. So for example, in here where we're preparing the destination path names, we can first of all look at the mime type of the file that is there and if you're not familiar with mime types um, as far as I know they're kind of like because on different operating systems uh, different types of files were designated by different extensions in the past you couldn't use an extension 
to designate a type of file. So MIME types were try trying to really standardize a mechanism whereby if you're shifting files around using HTTP, um, this is an indication of what the file is. So there are different types of MIME types there. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be accurate. Again, um, hackers can put whatever they like as the MIME type. But if you look here, you've got the first five characters will give you image or audio or video, which will tell you what type of file it is, um, what kind of content it is, and then you can put those into different directories. And I've done that on the example here. Let me just shift this over a bit. So in my images um, directory, sorry, um, I've put in an audio one for audio ones that are uploaded, video ones, um, or uploads for basically anything else. So that's something you might like to try. Um, as well as that, you could try if the um, person uploading a file hasn't put any caption information, you could try using the EXIF data from the file. And whenever you have things like photographs, um, the thing that is creating the file will store information in various fields there. So for example, if we look at this properties on the details, you can see various fields there. Um, the title, for example, yellow, white, subject, flag, just stuff that I've actually put in there. But you can pick out that data whenever it gets up to the server using uh, PHP EXIF read data. And you could use that, for example, in the case where someone hasn't provided a caption. And the other thing that you could do is whenever someone deletes the hello world uh, record, you can go ahead and delete the file as well. Um, you may not want to do that in a real situation because the file might be used by different records. But um, for practice, you know, actually trying it out, you could do things like um, you can override the delete function in our J table. And before it actually runs the delete, you can find the uh, file and then do J file delete on it. So that's another possibility you might like to try if you want to see some of these things uh, working. Uh, I've got something here. We'll set uh, and we'll try uploading that file. Yeah. And um, this is the code which I've um, incorporated those changes into. So if we look in our images folder again, this should hopefully have gone into uploads. Oops, took its time. There it is there. And if we look again in the database, um, is my hello world records. I'll just refresh that. And we should see it there. And this is what's gone into the database. Um, and you notice there that uh, there are a whole lot of slash u0000 characters in there um, interlaced with the yellow slash white text and um, it does seem to be that uh, word does or word or windows does put in some uh, 
extra characters there and I'm not really sure why that is but something to do with the um, encoding within that EXIF data but again like anything you have to be careful because if we uh, take this data and put in And now we've changed that in the database and we put that little script statement in. And then when we go to yeah, so it's come up with that JavaScript. So again, like anything, if you're reading in EXIF data and storing it anywhere, anywhere you have to be careful to make sure that that data is all clean. Um, I think this was the one there, and if we go then to delete it, we can see that where it was just before in that uploads directory, it's now gone from that. So finally, another uh, consideration about other types of media. Whenever we've uh, written this um, step here, programmed this step, we haven't actually put in a great deal which is associated specifically with images. We have done a little because when we have uh, put this This is our form, add form, which is shown on the front end. We have got this accept equals image, which really means that whenever um, the browser runs here and shows you something, it comes up with um, image here. Now I've changed that in this code, so it comes up with image or audio. So I've allowed audio as well. Although you can just select all files and obviously pick in everything, anything that you want there, including video files. So we have that. We have also got the, whenever we output it on a form, we're obviously putting an IMG there. But apart from that, the only other thing is that whenever we've got the um, form up here for the admin, we're asking for a media type of file. And unfortunately within Joomla, this will restrict the um, selection to media, which is of type image. So if we go on here and create a new one, and Oh, sorry. This is the this is the revised code, but you can you can check it on your own. Whenever you select that, you will only see images. You won't see any audio or video files that you've uploaded. So what I've done in this case is change it to be a file list form field type, which really shows um, files just within one directory. So I can select. This, which will obviously include things like HTML files or MP4 files, MP3 files. Um, so it is a bit unfortunate. Really what we'd like to have is kind of like a media viewer that would allow you to see all the types of media uh, and select one which wasn't just an image. But uh, unfortunately, Joomla doesn't seem to be able to provide that. There is an interesting um, debate that I find on the GitHub site about showing non-image files in the media form. And you can read that if you're interested in that. OK, I think that's about it for now. Hopefully that's been interesting and you find that useful. Thanks. Bye.